I want to show you some of my favorite Van de Graaff demos. Uh, so this is a Van de Graaff uh, generator. It generates a large static electric charge up here. Let me show you how it works. The basic idea is that there is a belt, a rubber belt right here, with a motor that runs up. And this belt kind of touches down here. It's the same thing as when you rub your socks on the carpet and you build up a static electric charge. Same thing happens there, but those charges get stuck on this belt, which goes up here to this point. Now, once you get inside of a metal, it turns out that the charges all go on the outside. So putting charges right here, they go on the outside. That means you can put more charges on there. If you try to put the charges on the top, there's already charges there, they'd repel and they wouldn't get on there. So let's put this back on and let's charge it up. So the first, the first thing we want to do, of course, well, I'm going to do this demo because I have it already set up. One thing that you often see is someone will put their hand on this, the charge up and the hair will stand up. Mine doesn't do that for obvious reasons. So I have instead this person right here uh, with Christmas tinsel on there. I'm just going to hold it right here and turn it on. Let's see what happens. Can you see that? You'll notice that it's kind of hard to see, but it's attracted. If I touch this, I can't, I'm trying not to get the tinsel stuck, but you will notice that the tinsel repels each other because all those tinsel are the same charge. And when they become the same charge, they repel each other. And that's why this hair demo thing works. But I don't really like this demo because uh, I was shocked in the past and it, I have traumatic experiences from that. The next thing that's really the best, when you get a large charge build up on this, you will build an electric field. When you have a large electric field, you can accelerate charges in the air. Those charges are already there because of cosmic radiation. There's already charges in the air. You have to have those charges in the air from cosmic radiation to get this spark. Those charges will accelerate in the electric field. They'll crash with an, another atom in the air, nitrogen or oxygen, and knock out more charges. Those more electrons will then accelerate, making more charges. Now, all these charges accelerating and crashing produces light, electromagnetic radiation. The light heats up the air, produces sound, and that's a spark. Let's turn it on. Let it charge for a little bit to get up charge. I'm gonna bring this, which is grounded, so that the charges have a place to go, and you can see the spark. Or not. It's funny, you can actually even feel uh, the charge when it hits. If you don't feel the charge, I think what you're feeling is the electric repulsion. Okay, so that's that. Here's another fun one. Uh, here I have a cup. Uh, with some aluminum foil in there. I want to put a little bit more. I'll put it right here so you can see it. I think that'll work. It's taped on. It tapes a little off. Oh, that didn't work. What a mess. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to stop because why would you stop a video and redo it when you could just keep going and be more real, right? Okay, so here's my tape charge. What if I move the tape right here? Stay. I'm very disappointed in that one. Okay, let me show you another one. Uh, the, the aluminum foil flies off. This, this is one more I'm going to show you that's really cool. This is a compact fluorescent bulb. And when you get large electric fields in there, this is how the bulb works. It always produces large electric fields that accelerate atoms in the bulb that cause light. So I can get this to spark. It's, it's a little difficult to see, but if I... I mean, isn't that cool? Okay. So that's the job of the compact fluorescent. That's how those work. Okay, I think that's enough for now.